my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Uh, I was very confused about music theory, about chords, and how to compose, how to improvise over different chord progressions, just within the 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 the, uh, the area of rock music, because I didn't see that there are two distinct, uh, uh, you know, and very different uh, types of rock music. There's the melodic rock department, and then there's the blues-based rock over here. And blues-based rock is sometimes just called rock because it's the first. It's what happened first. We had the blues, right? And when we took that... We took that blues feel and we sped up the tempo and we added drums and, you know, upright bass. And we had... But we still had the same chords. We had the same chord chain. Right? Same, it's just fast blues, basically. Right? And so that was rock and roll suddenly, right? And we got Elvis, we got all, you know, uh, all these uh, artists, and Elvis wasn't the first. He just took the, you know, went on the train <laughs> with the style that, that arose. Um, but that's blues-based rock. And if you, then we took it to the next level where we stopped just using the blues chords. This is a very simplified uh, description. We stopped just using the blues changes. Stop using those. And we started playing riffs while we took the, let's just do the E blues, for instance. Let's try to play it on one string. Right, we have the, the, the open string, the third fret, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then the D in the tenth, and the E again. And if you place a power chord on top of those, you get the whole foundation, the whole basis of creating riffs. Just E blue scale, but every note has a power chord, which is just a, basically the root of the scale, and then the fifth on top of that, and then the, the octave. It isn't a minor or a major, because that would entail or include the third. We don't have a third. So, so, and if you look at a band like ACDC, all they have, almost, is just... Right? Oh. Right? It's all blue scale based. It's power chords or single notes from the blue scale. Uh, and that is the first, that's the blues, and it, it has a, the workings, the gears of blues based rock are vastly different from Melodic rock. And melodic rock is just like any other musical style. It's just like, you know, classical music or pop music. It's just a diatonic scale with its seven notes and its seven chords that we mix and, you know, so C major, C major scale has the C, the D, the E, the F, the G, uh, the A minor, the B minor, uh, seventh fret five, or just half diminished. Uh, and those are the seven chords. And then we, cre you know, create some. Right? And and uh, when we didn't get to rock, we often use the minor yeah, version of that, where we start on the um, the sixth chord, the A minor if it's C. Right? And that's not blues based, but I can put the the sound in there, which is the crazy thing. If I have that A minor, right, let me just let me just do three chords here. Uh, the A minor of the A minor scale or the C major scale. I can use the blues scale. And that was really confusing to me. So I'm using the A blues scale now.
So, and that's the most confusing thing, that this, these two realms have a scale that you can use across both of them. So I never had to really deal with the fact that they're very different. So I was just using either the minor or the major pentatonic, same thing, same scale, just, you know, different uh, points of views. But, so I was just using that across them, but at some point I wanted to use that diatonic scale, that seven note scale, right? with my pentatonic scale. And that's where the challenge came, because when it's blues-based, you want to play the, the blues scale, let's say it's an A blues scale. You want to play that with the uh, Dorian mode or the G major scale. So you play the G major scale with the A minor pentatonic, A, A, A blues scale, right? It fits right into the G major scale, by the way. And if you add those notes, this is the G uh, major scale. Right, and this is the A blues scale. If you add the notes, play them together. You hear that now it's an extension suddenly, the G major scale is an extension of that sound. So if I play something like... Uh, now let me see if I can record that, right? If I... <laughs> This has a bluesy sound to it, right? Based on the blues scale. That's just clean blues scale. But then I can... That's a Dorian note or a G major scale note. Back into blues scale. Again, a, a Dorian note or a G major scale note. So, I get to produce the exact same sound, but I get some extra notes to play around with, but it's still the blues based sound, right? The blues based rock. If I get to suddenly, and I play the chords, instead of just playing, you know, play a riff in the background that's based on the blues scale, I play an A minor, and a C major, and then an E major, right? Now, this could be a pop song, right? These chords. But it's not because of the sound we add to it, the drums and the whatever, right? The screaming voice. Then it's a rock, it's a... And I can use the A blue scale again. But if I add the, the G uh, major scale, at the, like I did before, I get some very out notes. That's because I'm in the diatonic universe. I'm playing chords that are all related to the C major scale and not the G major scale. So if I, if I now mix the A blues scale with the C major scale instead, then suddenly I have it. Still use my but I can mix it, go into the diatonic scale back in the blues. course the same distinctions the same understandings goes for when you want to when you want to compose if you can go back and forth between these two styles or these two fundamental ways of creating music then in a in the same song then you can really you really have some power and when you know exactly when is what when am i going to use this scale combination the other scale combination and you know arpeggios suddenly you know the notes of the chords in the background played separately and sequences once you understand you know, to the fullest extent, what you can do in each style, then the whole picture clears up beautifully. Uh, finally, I should say that you can, you know, take this and run with it. You know, go into the theory and say, okay, this is this is diatonic scale, this is major minor scale, this this would be relevant for melodic rock. This is blue space scale, a Dorian that mix. Then I'm switching the sides now, <laughs> but 
you know, understand music theory, understand what you do from that perspective, and it all changes. Uh, if you want to look more into it, I have a program that cl that's called Neo the Neoclassical Academy, and classical is where it all comes from. This diatonic major minor thing with all the chords, uh, and it, it's it's a it's a course that is focused on melodic rock, and with that neoclassical twist. But melodic rock or neoclassical music is just melodic rock with a little. You know, just play melodic rock and start adding some classical baroque sequences, you know, to it, and suddenly it all sounds classical because it comes from that place. And then I have the Hard Rock Academy, which is more focused on that blues-based, uh, blues-scaled slash Dorian sound, and I go into all kinds of areas in each style, so you really get that. And the cool thing about these two big programs is that you get to spend so much time there. So you really get used to it. You move into that area, like moving into a new house, you know, getting to visit the neighborhood each and every day. You really get to know it. And then you move to another part of the city and then you get to know that neighborhood because you stay there. You move into it. Right. So it becomes like two different experiences that, you know, equally well. And that's the power of uh, of really, you know, soaking yourself in so many lessons, because those are two very big programs. Um, so go check them out if you want to, and you can download uh, some, some scale shapes that will show you the different combinations here that I just played. Uh, if you go to guitarmastery.net, download the, the charts. Um, it's a free program that touches upon many areas of guitar playing. Uh, so go sign up for, on the site and then download your free program there or just watch it online uh, with the, the tabs on the charts nearby. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.